Okay, we're going to talk about how to test thermocouples and thermopile. What's the difference? Well, thermocouple runs in the range of 18 to 24. Uh, and, uh, it, you know, if it's down in the 18, I replace it. If it's up around 24, it's good. It's going to um, work uh, the uh, gas valve properly. Okay, well here's my tip. If you come to a hot water tank or a furnace and it has a standing pilot, why pull the thermocouple all the way out and put it in a torch and hook up your meter on it to own it to see what your millivolts are when it's already uh, in the pilot assembly? All you have to do is hold down the button and, uh, and, uh, and the pilot will stay lit. And uh, and the other end, you can allergate. You can pull off the end out of the gas valve and alligator clip it. Put it on millivolts. Put it. Uh, and now it's in the standing pilot. You're holding in the button on the valve, and uh, and um, and it's heating up. And you're able to test the millivolts. So you want this thing to at least get around the range of about 24 millivolts and it's good it'll work it okay there you go so there you have it this is a good thermocouple there's nothing wrong with it so if I came up to the furnace in the uh, hot water tank and the pilot wasn't staying lit and I pushed in the button and kept the pilot on the end of the uh, thermo, uh, thermocouple rod and uh, put my meter down here and test 24 millivolt and it's good then I, my problem is the gas valve or there's another issue okay um, so why spend all the time to rip out the thermocouple to test it when all you have to do is just leave the pilot on it remove the end off the valve clip on your uh, millivolts and check and make sure it's getting the proper millivolts and uh, if not replace it if it is then you you have another issue you, you you know why waste time my tip is is to work smarter um, work faster and make more money you know instead of spending hours on one job so why rip it out and if you heat up a thermal pile it'll run in the neighborhood of 500 millivolts to 750 millivolts so uh, thermopile produces more, thermocouple produces less, and uh, so there you have it. Knowing how to troubleshoot your thermocouple without even having to remove it or being able to even reach the pilot assembly, who cares as long as you can light it and you can put your uh, meter on this end of it and read your uh, millivolts, you tested it and ruled it out being bad in a matter of minutes instead of hours, you know. Work smarter, work faster, make more money. It's that simple. All right. There you have it.